Hi Pisces, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn Quantum Queen. Sorry, I am obsessing just a little bit. I can never get my videos straight and you guys wouldn't even know, like I'm the most obsessed person about that kind of stuff, but some reason with my videos, they're always off. Anyway, so this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Pisces and the message could actually be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind that these are general readings. And just FYI, Pisces, for any of you new peeps, if you head over to my playlist, you'll actually find a, a playlist that is just for you. And you can go ahead and browse through because my reads are timeless. And you might find some useful information in there. So feel free to take a gander. And if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. Okay, so Pisces, yours is a little intense. So we've got coming out here the Knight of Cups and the Emperor. All right. Now, you could be, again, take it however it resonates in your situation. Um, I'm going to take it, though, that I think this is you. There is a very fascinating entanglement here, okay? And I'm going to dive way into that. But I feel like, Pisces, I think you kind of vacillate between very different, um, like, in one side of you, you can be the Knight of Cups where you're more emotional and you're giving to people. And then sometimes you can all of a sudden switch to, like, being disciplined and pulling back on your energy because I feel like there comes a point where you realize you're giving too much and so then all of a sudden you pull back really quickly and become really disciplined okay and so that's where I feel like you probably are coming across those two exact archetypes a lot in your experience you're probably coming if this is what's happening if you guys are surrounded by people which that is always helpful that's why I'm like don't become always a complete hermit because it's really helpful you to get out in relationships and have kind of a vibrational check-in to see where you're at, to see like how your vibration is going and where your energy is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is intense, Pisces. So I feel as though, yeah, you're coming across those two different archetypes in your experience. You, since it's a reflection and a holographic reflection of where you are at currently in your own energy because you're vacillating between very two different realities one of them is where you're still kind of stuck in your own psychological development of giving 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 you guys know how i talk about that narcissistic phase of development where you either created an addiction to power or an allergy to power where you just give your energy and power away to other people Sometimes you can unconsciously get stuck in that, and that's you giving away your energy, okay? This isn't necessarily bad. I don't want to make it to sound negative, but it's fascinating that you're coming across very two different energies and archetypes. Make sense? So, and sorry, I know it's going to be a pain focusing. So these are the archetype cards that are popping out for you, which pretty much confirms what I was saying. You've got the maiden. And I actually love this card. When I read the description of this, I was mind blown because it made so much sense of my own development when I was going through this phase. And I feel as though that's a bit of the Knight of Cups where, Pisces, I feel like there's a part of you that gives away your energy because the Maiden... Okay, let me explain the Maiden. The Maiden is someone who... Um, it's the first step in a three archetype development in Carl Jung's teachings and everything and the maiden is where you're still very young like sometimes you can flirt with danger and you know get yourself into situations that are maybe a little bit tricky and scary because there's a part of you that's still learning how to take your power back so that's why Pisces you could be coming across like all these different personality types in your physical reality because it's showing you like Pisces this is something that maybe needs to develop in yourself and is going to help you to turn into the emperor of your own life. But again, there's something almost where 
you are still kind of energetically looking up to other people to provide some type of stability or support and you're still lacking maybe even the belief of you providing that for yourself. So you can get caught up in relationships and situations where you're giving your power away. Again, unconsciously, you're not meaning to do this. But then what happens is other people come in with this addiction to power. And you give and they take. Okay. Now, with the Siren card, this is really interesting. So I feel as though some of you could be... Oh, I actually am not a fan of that card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a situation where <sighs> energetically you're putting something out there sexually, Pisces, okay? And I feel it's, it's again, it's a part of this phase of development that I talk about all the time, going back to like the oral anal phase and all of these phases of development. So there's this part of you, I think, that even has a sexual magnetism, and it could be because you, something happened in your development that made you think that a lot of your worth was based around you maybe portraying yourself in a sexual way to, but it was a part of your self-preservation, it was a part of your survival. So I think something might have happened maybe when you were young, again, not to get too like into the psychology or the depth of this, but it's kind of like something might have happened to you when you were younger and it kind of programmed the neural net in your brain to um, happen in a sexual way or where you even get drawn into situations, Pisces, by people who are like suave or they you know, pull you in in more of a magnetic, because that siren card, that's a little iffy, you know. The siren is the sirens who pulled the fishermen in, you know, by their sensuality, their attractiveness, and then it was, you know, the fishermen died. <laughs> so that's why I'm a little bit hesitant about that card, because I'm like, oh, Pisces, you might have maybe in the past or currently or however this is applying for you might have gotten yourself in a little bit thick, like in too deep with a situation and you're, you're maybe trying to have to get yourself out of it. But let me dive into the details of this. Oh, look at that. There's the emperor again. So, and again, I'm going to have issues with the focusing on this. I'm not going to pull it again because it's just saying the same exact thing that you're learning in some way in your life, Pisces, to become the emperor, you know, to take your power back. So that's going to apply in so many different ways. Yeah. So you've got divine wisdom coming out and that's you. That's, you have this in you, but this is fascinating. Look what came out next to it is the devil completely opposite cards and energies. So Pisces, I feel like you're almost having to battle your own kind of addictive behaviors to learn how to like kind of overcome this part of your nature where you give into something. And I'm going to tell you guys this personally. I was, I've been thinking about coming out on my channel and talking about this because you guys know how much I am into like self-discipline and you know, holding back from certain things. And I just came across this guy's channel. Who was it? It's, oh, and I forgot his name. And I think he is a Pisces, which is hilarious. I can't remember his name. But he, and I am going to put his name down in the description box when I figure out who it is. So if you guys want to check out his channel, feel free. But he was talking about how he's becoming celibate. And I find that very fascinating because with this layout, I feel like maybe there's this time, Pisces, that you're feeling like, like even when you give your emotions, it just like automatically turns into this magnetic, like addictive cycle for yourself. And so maybe there's something about becoming disciplined over that. Like this is a really intense combination between the emperor and divine wisdom. That's all about organization, discipline, getting your shit together, you know, because I feel as though, and look at these two. So you've got the knight of wands and the ace of cups. It's, it's almost like 
there's this balancing out of your own energy, Pisces, where maybe you end up in situations where you're like in and out, back and forth, it's hot and cold, and you, there's all these new beginnings, you know, there's all this love and potential here in the relationship, but they tend to turn into more like addictive patterns and behavior, and it's just because of the chemical addictions, you know, that's what I always talk about is these are chemical addictions that we're dealing with. So if you have some type of behavior that you had when you were a child where you had some type of stimulation and then it peaked you at way too young of an age for you to handle that type of a peak or in your emotions, then what it will do is it will, it will turn into a vibrational pattern in your cells and then you will continue to repeat that pattern. And so I feel as though you're coming to this realization, that's what the maiden card is, is you're developing this part of your own psyche back to when you were a little child and when that vibration was originally programmed into your cells. So a lot of it is, is you know, to change this cycle and behavior is changing things about yourself, changing your own behaviors. Because it turns you, I think, Pisces, with that Knight of Wands, that can be a Pisces energy to me because it's back and forth. It's wishy-washy. And look at this. I feel as though you taking some steps, like listening to your own divine wisdom, whatever this is for you guys, because it's all going to be very unique to you and your path. What are some things that maybe you could become more disciplined about? Because I feel as though you are on this path to overcoming this energy. And then Ace of Cups, you've got this really beautiful new beginning here as, as long as you kind of tame this a little bit in yourself. And then what's really cool is I feel as though you've got this like new emotional beginning coming in with someone, maybe it is an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but there's going to be some communication that's going to be coming in between you and another person about like stabilizing something and this is why i'm saying that because you've got the ten of pentacles okay so this is all about stable stability fulfillment um longevity you know things that last a long time so it's all about you tempering this energy within yourself and becoming more balanced in your own energy before this can actually take place you've got to step into the vibrational reality of it and we're not just dealing with simple times, you know. I love Abraham Hicks, but she's she has her own take, you know, Abraham and whatever. Um on this vibrational reality based off of what she's seen and perceived. And now we have a new we have newer generations that are coming in, which means that our vibrations are piling up in the cells. So, and the more free radicals and things that we're taking into our body, it means that it's like really stagnating and not letting the energy really truly alchemize. So that's what we're learning how to balance so that you can become powerful manifestors, like so that you can get these new beginnings of love that have emotions, communication, and stability all combined in one. So Pisces, I'm going to dive into the extended with this. So if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you on the other side. But if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.